What's up, everyone on YouTube? It's your boy, the Math is Accelerate, coming at you with the 100 days of Yu-Gi-Oh! With every day for 100 days, we duel with a different deck every single day. Today, we're taking a look at True King Dinosaurs, a deck that's all about making combos and swarming forward with big attack monsters. And we're going to have ourselves a great old time with today's deck, swarming out some babies, popping some babies, summon bigger dinosaurs. And, of course, I got big old Shadow of the Day, which goes to the gentleman who actually supplied today's deck, being Mr. Joey Hauk who uh, actually just sent me this deck in its entirety. So thank, big thanks to him for supplying an entire deck. It's very cool. So anyway, we're going to get ourselves started. I'm going to show you this deck off, show you some combos. We're having ourselves a good old time. So let's get started with our duels today. Alrighty, first opponent trying to go second with this deck. We're very much a go second deck. Not to say we don't have first turn options. But we have more second turn options than first turn options. Let's see. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all. I destroyed two monsters, including a fire. I don't have a fire at the moment. But I've got lots of babies, and I've got my field spell. And I've also got my over raptor, which is one of our most important cards. Very nice. When this guy's summoned, I can get any dinosaur. And I can add it to my hand or send to grave. And actually, that'll be very useful... Depending. We're up against Invoked. Probably Mech Knights. I'm going to golf on a limb. Usually nowadays when you see Alistair and, you know, Invoked, you'll see some Mech Knights too. Seeing as, you know, uh, what's his face? Um, Mechabuzz needs light. It's just a good combo. So let's see what we've got. Alright, Falso Dig. That's even better. I can add a level 6 or lower Dino from my deck to my hand. It's an insane amount of search for this, arc for this uh, typing. I was about to say archetype. Dinosaurs are not an archetype, though. Generators. Yeah. Memphis does not like generators. They're slightly annoying. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get Miscellaneous Hardest. Might as well. Cannot take this turn. Yeah. And this lets me summon lower. Four lower dino. Yep. 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 Indeed. Did that miss timing, or is he just waiting? Alright. So basically what this thing does is he gets to summon out one of his big old generators. He's probably going to either summon the Negati one or the Banishy. Okay, never mind. He summoned the Iron Giant. Interesting. Meaning, he's, these must all be monsters. He must have gotten a handful of generators and he means to distribute the tokens in order to bring them out. That sounds about right. So what I'm going to do is use my True King of Vanishing. Basically, if he's in my hand, I can destroy two other monsters in hand or field, including a fire boy, to summon him out. Yeah, he gets to do that, but that's fine. Uh, no, I, I kind of need this in my hand. Okay, so we had two monsters in his hand. Now I'm still curious as to what he actually has. Ah, oof. Oh, no, he had territory. That's an annoying card that generators have. I think it's a little annoying, because basically if you change something to a generator effect, your effect changes. So I'm going to destroy this dude, and that dude. Oh, but it still goes off. Sweet. So basically, Baby Sarasaurus, when it's destroyed, I get to summon a level 4 lower dino from my deck. This guy might be a little annoying to get rid of, but I have outs to it, so it's all good. It's all good in my hood, folks. All right, so he's going to negate the bebe. Full move, my friend. Full move. Because I still have this, and that's all I need. All right, so this guy lets him... Let's see, you get to tag that out for another one. I'm going to guess the... Probably either the castle or the sword guy. No, we went for Nidog. All right, interesting choice. Works just fine, I suppose. So I'm going to go ahead and play Lost World. This card loot makes everything that's not a dinosaur get weaker. So I'm going to go ahead and summon out my soul-eating ogre raptor. It goes off and Lost World goes off. I'll chain block and all that good stuff. So I can add any dinosaur and he gets the spiffy token. So I am going to add my superconductor boy. I mean, sadly, he can negate it with this thing, which is really annoying, but such is life. Alright, let me think about this. What? Oh, I gotta... 
You can make a punch on a monster from hand or field to the graveyard. Hmm. Well, sadly, I have to say goodbye to my true king of vanishing. Because I kind of need the rest. So what I'm going to do now, I can use over after. I can target and destroy his dinosaur. And instead of destroying it, I can destroy one of the dudes in my deck instead. Uh, I want to destroy Baby Satosaurus. Because then it goes off and I get more things. I'm going to go ahead and get out Gigantorex. Hello, here I am. I'm going to go ahead and summon out Dolka. Hello. Dolka here can negate monster effects. If I can negate Nidhogg, or if I can make him use up Nidhogg, that works too. All I need is to get Ultimate Conductor Boy out, really. Yeah, that's how it is. Uh, how many dinosaurs do I have in the graveyard? One, two, two, what is it? One, two, three, four, five. Alright, so what I'm going to do is banish Giant Rex, banish the baby, summon Ultimate Conductor Boy. Giant Rex, when he's banished, comes out. He's fodder for the use of Conductor's effect. And... I think we're okay. Let's go ahead for the battle phase. The Ultimate Conductor Tyranno can attack every monster my opponent controls. When he battles a defense monster, I can get rid of it, and he takes a thousand damage. It's pretty sweet. Just a good way of clearing the board, especially if you fill your opponent's board up with a bunch of tokens and stuff. It's pretty sweet. Alright, so we've gotten rid of our opponent's board. Doesn't really matter, though, because... Obviously, let me think about this. It'd be really nice if I could get out my... Hmm. I'm going to use Miscellaneous Saurus. Let me think about this. Let's go for level one, dude. Destroy a dinosaur for hand. Yes. So I'm going to get out Jeweled Beast here. Jeweled Beast's effect is that I can pop my Petit Caradon, get my ultimate pill, which is used for summoning Conductor Tyranno. I pop Petit Pterodon, so I get another dinosaur. It's very nice. So, I'm going to Special Salmon. Um, Miscellaneous Saurus. There you go. And I'll save this for in case I need it. What I want to summon now. Um, return a card on the field to the deck. I kind of want to do that, because this is Generators, and he needs his Field Spell to, like, exist. So if I get rid of his Field Spell, he should be in very big trouble. Without the Field Spell, Generators can't do a whole lot. I mean, there's some things, but not a lot of things, so that should be good. Although he did top the boss. Let's see. Uh, let's see, I can destroy a monster. Yeah. I'm going to destroy my monsters. Flip his monsters face down. That's something I'm allowed to do. I mean, granted, it'll just chain that, summon another generator, but I'll still get to flip it face down. That's all that matters, is flipping his monsters down. His monsters won't be able to use their effects in junk. There you go. I mean, I think Mortal still goes off, but we'll see. Even if it does, I still got Conductor Tyranno. Ah, yet invoked. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Although the best he can really hope for is a clash, because the strong... Well, no. He can use the guards of my graveyard, so he's going to go for... Okay, he's still going for Mechaba. I was thinking, why not go for... Do I have an Earth in the grave? I do. Why he didn't go for uh, the Earth one, I'm not sure. It's really weird. Because if he'd gone for the Earth one, you know, he can return, he can get back Alistair. He could have beaten over Conductor Tyranno. No, wait, no. He couldn't have done that either. He couldn't have gotten rid of this regardless. Alright. So now he's got a bit of negation, such as life. Uh, let's try to bait out his negation. I've got my Soul Eater. Um, uh, sure. So, let's go ahead and Chain Block. He can't stop me now. What do you got? You got nothing. That's right. Here's a token. I hope you like it. I gift wrap it for you. Alright. So, what I want to do... So many options, man. So many options. I'm gonna dump... 
another miscellaneous sardis. I can also get it to my hand and protect my monsters, but I don't think I need it. Let's go ahead and attempt to pop this token and dump more things. He has one negation. That's all he's got. After that, he's got a whole lot of nothing. Okay, well, he will use that. All right, that's fine. I mean, I lose my soul eater, but such is life. I'm going to go ahead and ultra evolution pill. So I'm going to banish the Rex, and I'm going to banish a non-dinosaur. Uh, I pick the red guy. That is my option. And I'm going to go for more conductor Tyranno action because he's bigger. Giant Rex goes off. See, a whole lot of things dinosaurs can do. It's crazy what the stuff they can do. And I'm going to go ahead and use a miscellaneous Saurus. And my opponent surrenders. Oh man, I was about to show off more stuff. Why you do this to me? But yeah, basically that's how we do it. We just keep pouring on the pressure, pouring on the damage. Our opponents can't even, they can't even, you know. Generators, they tried, but once they lose the field spell, they really don't stand much of a chance against anything. So, you know, there's a win. Let's go for Duel 2. We'll continue to win with our big boys. All right, here's our second opponent. We're trying to go second every time. If that's what we do, we shouldn't have any problems. I have Dragonic Degafram, but I don't have a target to pop with it, which is a little unfortunate. Basically, this is just for searching out my true kings and stuff, and it also activates my baby's effects. So it's pretty darn nice. Opponent has set a monster. Ooh, that could be anything. You could even be Marshmallon. Oh, no. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. Summon Soul Eating Over Raptor. He's gonna add us a dinosaur. I'm gonna add the baby. I'm gonna add a baby to my hand and activate Dragonic Diagram. It protect the main focus, like I mentioned, it's just for you know popping your babies, adding true dinos and things. Um this one. If I have two fire monsters, I might as well. Baby Sarasaurus goes off. I'm going to get um this boy, so I can do more damage. So now what I'm going to do is, using the power of my true king, get rid of Ash Blossom and Aeolo. Seems a little wasteful, but since I use two fire monsters, I can banish one of his cards. Yes, uh, and... Did I have two dinos? Sweet. I wasn't even planning that part. I was just going to hit him with these. But, uh, yeah, basically it looks like an OTK to me. Ironically, I did have an OTK in testing, like, the first time I played this deck. Actually, it was against another Yugi tuber I checked. It was crazy. But, uh, yeah, I'll maybe, I'll leave that one at the end of this episode. But for now, there's a clean sweep OTK against uh, a guy who either bricked or I don't know. But regardless, there's how you OTK with this deck. Just go off, baby. Go off. So, let's go for Duel 3. Let's see if we can get some more back and forth action. and. Uh, Keep having fun with this deck. I'm, I'm enjoying myself. Hope you guys are. All right, you are third opponent. We're going second again. Almost click first. Not to say I can't go first. I'm just saying I don't want to go first. I want him to go first. Him or her. Could be a woman. You never know. Women do exist in this game. Every once in a while, they are very rare. Almost as rare as your. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know rarities of cards. You know, to me, it's like I don't know. Like, I'm not the sort of person who does, like, an unboxing and looks for all the rare stuff. I look for the stuff I can use. That's how I do it. But that's just me, perhaps. Who knows? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use Miscellany Swords. And to protect my dinosaurs from activated effects. So now, we're going to go ahead and do the shmoo. That's what you call it when you do this, by the way. It's called doing the shmoo. If anyone tells you different, they're a liar. Alright, so what I'm going to do... Get Ultimental Conductor Tyranno. That way I have him in my hand. Uh, I could summon this dude at some point, but I won't yet. Not yet. Soon. Very soon. So I'm going to attempt to pop this token, but I will protect the token. And I'm going to pop a baby. Baby goes off. Baby, come back. And where's my Gigantorex? There he is. Usually you want to get Rex out of the deck, because he can't attack directly and stuff. So there's a thing about getting him out as soon as humanly possible. Uh, let me think. I could summon a level 2 dinosaur. Don't really need to. 
So what I'm going to do is use my True King O Vanishing. Um, use these two. Bring him out. He'll be weakened, but whatever. I'm going to banish a couple more dinos. And... These two. <clears throat> oh, pardon me. I'll go for these two. Might as well. All right. And then I could summon more, but I think I'm good for now. Let's go for the battle phase. I'm attacking this token. I could attack with Tyranno, but that would lead to less damage. Let's go ahead and attack with everything. I don't think that's quite game, but it's pretty dang close. And considering what I'm planning for the uh, phase number two, should be pretty dang close to it. Okay, so it's got like 300 life points. Dang it, Joey. Why didn't you put Gaga -ga Cowboy in here? I'm joking. We don't need no Gaga -ga Cowboys. I could make Appaloosa. That's certainly a nice option, not gonna lie. But I'm gonna make Dolka. He can negate up to two monster effects. He's pretty dang nice. And I think... Actually, now I think about it. Yeah, one other thing we're gonna do. We're gonna get rid of two of these boys. And I'm going to summon forth... This boy. I picked it random, but I picked the one I wanted. So we're good. Because when that's destroyed, I'm going to get another monster. I've already used Over Raptor's effect. I'm going to get Petite Pterodon. Because when I destroy him, I can summon a level 4 or higher dino. But I can't attack the turn it's summoned. But the idea is, you know, you use turn dino, pop this. You search out like Over Raptor or something. Is that flower stacking? We're up against flower guardians? Spicy didn't have a move for... Well, actually, it's Flower Cardians, what am I talking about? They're like one of the most try-hard decks that there is. Because it's like, if you get the right draws, you do great. If you don't, you can't make plays. But he has his Flower stack, and so he gets to stack his deck, so to speak. Alright, uh, what's even on that artwork? I see Crane... Oh, he surrendered. That's Well, I guess there wasn't much he could do. He's reliant on monster effects, so... There's another good win. Granted, it was against Cardians, and I wish I wish the Cardian guy had gotten something off. You know, I always root for Cardians, man. They're, they're a fun deck. I gotta play them again, but yeah. Let's go ahead for duel number four. Uh, might be doing bonus duels today, or I'll just show that replay, one or the other. So, let's go ahead for duel four. Alrighty, out of heart of Let's see what happens here, going second. Alrighty, what do we got here for a hand? Bad could be better, but it's not bad. Destroy a dino from hand field. Uh, add a pill. Okay, I can do stuff with this hand. What's with people pricking today? I don't know what it is. Weird. This deck's super consistent. I gotta thank Joey again for uh making a. He did pretty good work. Not gonna lie. He did the pretty darn good work. All right. So what I'm gonna do? Oh uh, man, I got over Raptor, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and summon this thing, my Argosaurus. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bloop bloop. That is what we said. That's what it's called. You say bloop bloop. There you go. So he gets a token. Pop this. Add a peel. I need a non dino for it to work though, but it's fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and get over raptor. Over raptor will search. I'm going to get this thing because it's big. Alrighty, very nice. So now I'm gonna go ahead. And pop that token, but not really. Yes, sir. And I'm going to go ahead, pop a petite pterodon. And I'm going to get out a uh, Gigantorex. Why couldn't you have been a tuner? It would have been nice if you were a tuner, you know. Um, Activate my miscellaneous saurus. Banish some babies. Bring out this dude. We just keep on going, man. So I'm going to go ahead and mill out one miscellaneous saurus, get out my tuna. Oh yes, it's finally time. I could go for this. Non-tuner. I could draw two cards or I could go for Trish. Trish. Come forth, my dinosaur, not dinosaur. Alright, Trishula. Banish that card because I don't trust it. Yes, sir. Alright. Six Samurais. Interesting. They did not have a good going first hand, I guess. 
Let's go ahead and get rid of his board. Because that's what we like to do. Was that Fuma? Well, at least he had something decent set. If it had been something else, I would have been a little concerned for the six Slammerai. As it stands, our dinosaurs have clearly outmatched him. I mean, granted, if he'd gone off, he would have gone off. But he didn't go off. So, Trishel is good. I could have drawn two if I'd gone for the other boy. Mr. Ravenous Crocosaurus. But, uh, you know. He he's cool and all, but as it stands, I prefer Trish. So there's another win. Goodness gracious, the people just cannot stand to the power of this stinky dinosaur here. Alright, well there's a fourth duel, but I'm still not satisfied. So let's go for another duel. Uh, I don't think I'll show off that replay as much as I want to. It's, uh... I checked it again. It's really not that interesting, but uh, let's go for a fifth. Alrighty, our fifth opponent going second again. What do we got? Master Rule of Hive, you say? Alright, that's fine. I don't care. I'm good. My opening hand's pretty much perfect. I've got a Ghost Ogre and an Ass Blossom. Up against some form of combo deck. You know? Oh, he didn't search uh, Invocation. Weird. Implying he already has it? Question mark? Hmm. Interesting. Ah, uh, Field of Spell. What say ye? Alright. Go ahead, Miscellaneous Horus. Yes, sir. Call by the Grave. Ooh! That hurts. That hurts a lot. I kinda like that card. Not gonna lie, that card's kind of my bro. Okay, let's go ahead and do the Chain Blocky. Up against some invoked stuff, and he's popping my stuff. Stop it. Alright, well, I get to add a dude to my hand. Um. I could add another miscellaneous Horus, I suppose. I'm gonna do that. I could just send. Oh, I could just send it to the grave. I'm gonna put it in my hand, though. Putting this in the grave won't actually do me any sort of good deals or nothing. Let's go ahead and attack Alistair, because this guy's just trying to stop me from doing stuff, man. I don't appreciate. Memphis does not appreciate, man. He's got a monster, a spell, and a trap in the graveyard. I'm still waiting for- I wonder if there's ever gonna be a monster that requires that for a summon condition, just to, like, banish a monster, a spell, and a trap. Um, I'm gonna do this. Just so I have miscellaneous in the grave. I mean, it won't work because that's still negated, but it's fine. I just want to get that in the graveyard. Alright, so he's got Machuba. Such is life, he has Machuba. Alright. That's a little annoying, not gonna lie. But if I can top deck my superconductor, or not super, but ultimate conductor, I can just beat into Mechaba. So that'll be a good thing. Alright, what do we got? Ultimate Evolution Pill. Alright. Uh, these are all dinos, though. That's the thing. I need a let's see. Bonzi. Did it from hand and or G Y. Alright, let's give it a shot. Ultimate Evolution Pill. Banish this. And I only need one of these. Does he have a spell? He did not have a spell card. Come forth, my bigger monster. My monster's bigger than yours. That's kind of the rule of the day. Let's go ahead and banish Miscellaneous Horus. Uh, nope. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Destroy a dinosaur. But I don't have another dinosaur, so I'm gonna go for Aeolo, my tuna. He's a tuner. And let me think about this. I'm just trying to think of what things I can do after I've done getting rid of this dude. You know what? I'm just gonna go for battle phase right now. I figure, you know, he'll just discard his, his, uh, his Alistair. Then these two will crash into each other, such is life. But I gotta get rid of this thing. I gotta get rid of it. You know, it's like a thing. Alright, let's go for, uh, Needle Fibber. Mr. Halka Feebrax himself. I'll go ahead and get out my Glow-Up Bulb. So that Glow-Up Bulb is not there anymore. And... Let me think. I could go for Link Cross. I'll get like a bunch of tokens and junk. Um. Meh, why not? Okay, so I go for Link Cross by using that boy. I get two tokens. 
My basic idea is just to have the, something on the board. And even though it says I can't use the tokens, uh, I cannot use link tokens as link material for the rest of this turn. Yeah. So I'm just going to end my turn there. I think we'll be all right. I mean, if he tries to search anything, we've got an ass blossom. He's got a whole lot of nothing. All right, good. Good indeed. So what I'm going to do... What's your arrow? Down. Okay. Go for this linky spider. Summon out an ass blossom. And go for... Appalooza. Yeah! 3200 Appalooza. There you go. So now I've got Appalooza out here. I don't think he's going to be getting out for that anytime soon. Um... Yeah, we're pretty good. I've got like four negates on this thing. That's pretty darn good. You know, there's not too many more you could do with it, but, you know, four is good enough. I mean, if you can negate, even if it only works twice, two effect negations is pretty good. Um, okay. Here's what we do. Glow up a Bulba. Summon Glow up a Bulba. Tribute these two for a true king. Go for the kill. Alright, so this guy, is, he's, he's dead. He's dead. He had some kind of invoked generator deck. Which sounds cool, but it didn't work against us. So, there's another win. Um, Something tells me I should quit while I'm ahead, but I'll do one more duel. Let's do one more duel, and then we'll call it a Alright, here are six bonus duels. Usually don't go for six duels in 100 days. But I figured today is a special day. We're having fun times. Well, why not? Let's go for it. Okay, what do we got here? Um, I mean, it's all right. It's not great, but it's all right. You know, uh, let's see. Targeted dinosaur on the field. Destroy, blah, blah, blah. Miscellaneousaurus. Aeolo is in our hand, which is not a good thing. But, I don't know, maybe. We'll see. I can certainly, I can work around this. I can work around it. We're up against Endymion. Ugh, that's an annoying deck. That's a deck that is very annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Very obnoxious. Uh, <laughs> no. No drawing for you. Not if I can help it. You and your draw cards. He still gets the counters, though, which is really annoying. Uh, oh, and he had that. He had spell power in his hand. Of course he did. Of course he bloody did. And a monster from your hand that you can place a spell counter on, place a spell counter on each. That's really annoying, not gonna lie. This is why I don't care for Endymion anymore, like, this was a bit much. You know, I remember when I first, you know, Endymion first came out, I played it, I had fun. But it didn't have this. I know it had, like, Servant and all that junk, but I was playing, like, Magical Megaton Cannon. That stuff, you know, is stuff that you can just enjoy playing, but this is not as fun. It's, it's really not. So, the question now remains. And Demion, how do we get out of you? Spell Trap or Fence Activated. Return a card to control the spell counter on the end and do the hand. The gate, destroy, you can play the same number of counters. Well, this card has a counter. Cannot target or destroy with card effect. Okay, well, I can get around that. It's just going to be a trick to do that. <sighs> no, 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 no. Let me think about this. Can I destroy yourself? No. I was thinking, but no, that's not how that works. He's got all this stuff. He's got all these things. But he hasn't done anything. What do you do again? We can only stretch to summon one. Well, I guess it doesn't matter what you do. Let's see. This card's link summon and play spell counters. So a spellcaster special summon to the zone. Target a card that feels destroyed. Okay. 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 So, first off, we're going to do miscellaneous source. Dump that to the graveyard. Summon out soul eating over raptor. And get our big boss monster. That is step numero the first. Um, use miscellaneous Saurus's effect. Go ahead and get out Argosaurus. Put him in uh, defense mode. 
Argosaurus goes off. I'm gonna pop the Petite Pterodon. Get myself a double evolution pill. Petite Pterodon, meanwhile, shall summon Thor the Gigantorex. Okay, so far so good. That was step one. All of what you just saw was step numero the first step. Uh, I can't target you. Can't do none of that. Let me think about this. I really wanted to get... Oh, wait, yeah, I can still do this. Overraptor, Pop Argosaurus. Uh, oh, yeah, it's special summons this back. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. It's perfect. It's everything I wanted. I need to bounce things. Okay. Go for Unicorn. That way I can use Unicorn's effect. Dump this. Bounce that guy. I don't want him around. So now we banish Giant Rex and Argosaurus. Summon out this dude. Giant Rex goes off. Uh, no. Summon this dude. Uh, use Conductor Tyranno. Pop ourselves. Go for double evolution pill. There you go. Oh, man, we're doing all the stuff we wanted. Sweet. Oh, I can also go for Overtex Kowatlas, too, but I think I'll be all right. I think we're good. I don't know if you noticed, but I kind of got rid of everything he knew and loved. And stopped him from getting spell cards. And he's pretty much dead. I don't think he'd get around this. I mean, if I had Gustav Max in this deck, he'd be dead right now. Because I would just go for it, and he would be dead. Um... No. As much as I kind of want to go for Appaloosa, I'm going to say no. I think we're alright. I've got two 35k beat sticks. I don't think he can get around that, even with Mythical Cerberus, boy. Oh, wait. That's Mythical Cer- Oh, no. I can just- I can just flip Mer Mythical Cerberus. Even if he does get it out on the board. I don't care. Basically, like, what, what does this guy do again? I always forget what that guy does. It's like he can remove four counters from this thing to, like, do stuff. I'm gonna go ahead. Eh, nope. Pop. Flip. You're down. You're dead. You cannot win. You are dead. Stay dead. Go away. Alright. So there's our sixth duel in a row one. Pretty dang nice. Very nice indeed, Mr. Joey. Mr. Hulk. All right, let's go for end screen times. All right, True King Dinos did very well. Thanks again to Mr. Joey Hulk for supplying this deck. He did very well making this, and I think I did all right playing it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I never summoned out Lithosagium, but yeah, we, he, he was just a one-up after all. So, uh, Mr. Agnamazood is the king of True Kings. I'm just going to say it right here. And so, I hope you guys enjoyed. Smash like if you did. Uh, I've got another viewer request for Aromages. So, if you guys will excuse me, I need to go learn how to play those now. And I'll see you guys again next time with more Yu-Gi-Oh! action. Your boy Memphis signing out. See you next time.